Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Mythic Heroes Idol RPG on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. It packs a punch with mega performance upgrades and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Mythic Heroes Idol RPG and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Mythic Heroes Idol RPG. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all my friends, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's go to that URL I have highlighted in green color. Now, you are able to discover on the screen. There is no need to type the URL, simply because there's the clickable link in the description of this video and the first pinned comment. We landed on this page on our own internet site of Usatility, in which we have a nice in-depth explanation on the way to download Mythic Heroes Idol RPG on personal computer. We scroll lower a tad and press on the download game on PC button. After clicking on that link, we arrive here on the site of Bluestacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we are going to run to enjoy the game Mythic Heroes Idol RPG on the PC. As you can see from here we access several pros of preferring the emulator. Now we are on the way to start downloading the Mythic Heroes Idol RPG by simply clicking on this button play on blue stacks that I have marked in green color. Next step is clicking on the button. And the download takes no time at all. Voila! Here is located the download. It is a file we have to execute. What we are going to do now is to run the executable file, OK, then we click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the system. We clicked yes. I minimize the web browser to start to see the installation software significantly better. The installer is straightforward. It is made up of two choices, install, and setup path. I will show you what setup path really does. We purely click on it. So we discover that we VE got here the path in which the emulator is going to be put in. If we prefer to change this folder we must click on that browse option. Therefore we decide on another folder and install the emulator precisely where we would like. To keep it simple, just keep it as it is. I click on back and I pick install. Now, there it is. The install commences and it's going to commence along with the download of those megabytes that happens to be displayed on this computer screen. The time you download it, it could possibly be more or less MB. The download speed can be at a higher speed or at a lower speed, depending on your connection and according to the performance of the emulator web servers. Today they're going rather fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. Now, the emulator has actually been started immediately. As you can see, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar which will move forward to the right when it gets into the end, the emulator can be launched for the first time. In reality the emulator is already started, here for the first time. Before we continue, as you understand, it created two software icons right here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon will be one we're concerned about. The moment we need to launch Mythic Heroes Idol RPG on our laptop or computer, we double mouse click on this specific software icon and start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let's make the next phase, which is actually a requirement, and which is to log on to the Google Play Store. And we'll mouse click on Play Store. As you can discover the Google Play is presented. At this point we must log on. At this moment the moment we're right here, we must definitely perform this next step that is definitely mandatory. So that we mouse click on, sign in. Now it announces, checking info. It might in some cases get blocked in, checking info, and so it isn't going to move ahead. If so, you should attempt to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it may quite likely be repaired. Now we shall provide our email and password. 
The email ought to be a Gmail email as well as its corresponding password. As an example you make use of the same exact email you use right now in your own YouTube account. Therefore I will type my info and I will return immediately after I have completed it. That's it. Information typed. Below is Google welcoming us and supplying us their twos. We will consent to them by simply clicking, I agree. Next, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You might let it select it it's going to produce a backup of the data files on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you do what you want. We mouse click on accept. Google Play is started without need to open it manually and immediately. To set up the app, we have got to go to the emulator desktop for Android by clicking on the app icon indicated green colored. Right now that we are exploring the desktop of that Android emulator, we notice that we come with right here the install video game option. We click on this button. There we access to the Android game. Let's quickly just click right here on the install link that I'm showing now in green. And this will initiate the software setup. At this time it would download and install the game. It normally takes a while or perhaps it may possibly be almost immediate. It again all is determined on our connection to the web. It has by then completed setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this specific option that I'm showing in green, that allows you to launch Mythic Heroes Idle RPG for the very first time. We are at present on the emulator desktop, and then we're preparing to click that new Mythic Heroes Idle RPG software icon that has been provided. The Android game is started for the first time. So there we get it. I can also click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will talk about the sound level of this emulator. It's right here. We have got the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This manner we will not count on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of your emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the greatest, we should switch on the large monitor, for which we have two options. This is simply the very first one, we mouse click on this particular software icon which I'm showing in green. And the display screen is maximized, experiencing one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In case we aspire to play the app using all the screen, we select this particular app icon. And we might presently be experiencing the Android game in 100% screen setting. To leave the complete screen mode, hit the F11 key. And consequently we would undoubtedly currently end up being in regular display setting. At present, I am ready to explain you the keys mapping that is really rather appealing. That way we will probably be ready to play the game application a lot more easily. The first thing is to press this app icon. It's now time to complete the appropriate controls. Let me put the default settings, but if you really want to improve this, you may well do it now without any problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. Occasionally it occurs that your emulator is started in the wrong language, for instance, in Chinese. And consequently to set it up in the appropriate language we browse here to the cogwheel. And right here throughout various other controls, we mouse click on the language drop down. We can easily decide on the language we wish, English, Mandarin, and so forth. As soon as the language is determined, we could save, the emulator would reboot, and the game application, next time we start it, would as well be in the preferred language. At this moment, you will find another thing that we need to take into consideration, and it's that we will get an email reporting that a new equipment has been connected with this Google account. It will definitely question us if we are the individuals who have connected that electronic device. Absolutely, we ought not worry, as the emulator is behaving like an Android electronic device. And to identify which tablet or smartphone is currently being emulated, we go right here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. Therefore we browse here to the model selection, and there we observe that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for our video tutorial. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, specifically that you thought it was useful. If that's so, bring it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe, and if you have feedback, questions or ideas, let them in the comment field below. You could also leave comments on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams every now and then, you have it listed below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Mouse click on any of the training videos that are showing up on the list of videos to watch and let's have fun again in the upcoming videos. Bye.